I don't know about you guys, but I'm really starting to enjoy this show. Hello everyone, it's Fraser 208 back again to give you another video, and this time I'm going to give you my review for episode 2 of Trickster. Uh, where we last left off, we saw uh, Kobayashi and Hanasaki together with Ryo, there Ryo was the one uh, pointing the gun at poor Kobayashi. Kobayashi proceeds to use his little mystic bubble, remember as I refer to it as the bubble, uh, and pushes him away, but he actually slices off his leg. But, to our surprise, uh, and m mine mainly, he actually has a robotic leg. So, it didn't matter if he had sliced that leg off. It's, it's, uh, like, think of it like from Format Alchemist. Like, it's not his real leg, it's a prosthetic. Basically, it's a prosthetic. And I was like, that's very convenient plot-wise. I feel like they could do a bunch of things with it. And then, you know... Jump to uh, where we are now in the episode where uh, they take on a case. This woman's there and she hands them a bunch of papers and it's like, I will kill you. I will find you on, written on them. And they're like, oh, okay. Uh, we suspect that maybe your boyfriend is writing this to somebody. Uh, no, sorry. They, I skipped ahead. They suspected that somebody was sending it to her when actuality uh, her boyfriend was making them. And they're like, okay, well, we'll just find the person who we're sending it to. But he didn't actually send it to anybody at all. He just, it was just there. And they were really suspected. And they're like, this is kind, and um, Hanasaki was there. And he's like, this is really boring. Like, this is like uneventful right now what's happening. And Ryo was there. And he's like, no, no, okay, shut up. We're going to do this. Uh, we are the, uh, the boys, young boys detective agency, I think is what they call themselves in this. Which is, which is really funny. Uh, and it's referred to later on in this episode. Uh, so, anyways, Rio is actually in a wheelchair, and they're all high school students. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that they were part, they were still in high school. So it brings the show basically brings that high school element to it, uh, like most animes does, like most animes do. Sorry, my English. Uh, and that's what happened. So, uh, I so Hanasaki is not in school. He proceeds to go follow the. Um, the uh, the boyfriend suspecting that he's eventually gonna plot something against somebody or kill somebody or potentially harm somebody, but all he actually just ends up seeing is that he's working in like some sort of udon noodle shop or whatever. Uh, to which he tries to go find his wallet when he's buying food there, but his wallet's not there because remember Kobayashi actually still has his wallet. He didn't actually return it. Kobayashi ends up using his wallet and they track him down. And uh, Kobayashi tries to eat. I think it's tempura in in this. In the, in the episode, but he tries to pick it up with his hands, and of course, like, his body is sensing this immediate danger, because you don't just pick up hot food, especially, like, in that way, you use, like, a freaking utensil, and you cool it down, instead he was gonna go right for it, like a, like a car machine, but, uh, his little bubble said, no, you're not having any, boom, and then he picks up the noodle on the ground, and was a, he's really hungry, and, um, uh, Hanasaki is there, and he's like, I'll just buy you food if you help me on this case, uh, or, like, before even he said that, he's, he we got some information where it's, like, if he truly wanted to kill himself, like, he could have just, like, starved or consumed a poisonous substance. Here's the thing. His body won't let him starve. It will forcibly shove down whatever source of food it can. It'll find something and stuff it down his throat. Does not care. His body is not... In, he's not in control of his body, basically. He once tried to chug gasoline to kill himself, but it just came out. Like, nothing happened. It just came out, and um, it, you get to see it in this episode where he's uh, eating soup, and the soup is poisoned, and it just, boom, comes out of his mouth just like that. And it's it's really interesting to know that he's actually not in control of shit. Like, his body, or whatever's inside of his body, or whatever's controlling his body, is making sure that A, he's not in harm's way, and B, he doesn't die. However... And there's some theory behind this, which I'll talk about later in this episode. So anyways, they go try to find the boyfriend. The boyfriend is uh, proceeding to catering for this gig of like these important medical scientists and stuff like that. I'm not going to spoil this episode because there is a plot twist to it. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. And I hope nobody in the comment section does that either. But it caught me off guard and it was a really good plot twist. Which is why I'm actually enjoying watching this show. The first episode may have not helped it. But the second episode properly put it back on track to which it was like, okay, this is what the show is. Continue watching it. Really fun. Really... Uh, just blowing my mind kind of episode. Like, okay, guaranteed, 
I'm me, and me, I'm not that great on mysteries if it comes to, like, any type of media, book, TV show, movie, I get it. Certain people might have already discovered what the plot twist was to it before even watching this episode, or even just dur- mid- midway through. I didn't, it caught me off guard, and it was, because, like, episode one, it made it try to act like it was something else. Episode two, it brought it right on track, and I'm like... Okay, this is starting to get good. I'm actually enjoying watching it. So basically, I may have not liked episode 1, the first impression of it, but episode 2 definitely has got me hooked and I will continue watching this series and talking about it. So, yeah, and then they find, you know, I'm not going to spoil the plot twist or anything, and again, I hope nobody else does in the video uh, either. So um, I'm just going to end it, my little review or synopsis right there. In terms of reviewing, uh, I have a... Th- I always, yeah, go back to my theory. So you, you know how I said that he... um. His body, he's not in control of his body. The little bubble is and it will feed him and it will stop like danger from happening to him. He gets cut again in this episode. My theory is that he gets cut if he's either, okay, a couple theories. The, either A, he's off, like he's not concentrating about it. Because every time he's with uh, Hanasaki, um, that was a Kobayashi. Kobay- every time Kobayashi is with Hanasaki, um, he kind of gets off guard or he feels a little bit more compassionate. Uh, and then he gets cut, Ran- like he randomly got cut, like he- his guard was let off, and he got cut, and he's like, huh, if I can be with this guy, I can then kill myself, that sounds really bad, I know, but that's what happens in this episode, is is what his thinking is, it's like, okay, I'll continue to be with this guy, only in the fact that I can then kill myself, because he's gonna help me kill myself, and that's what Hanasaki actually addresses in this episode as well where he's talking to his boss he's like i'm gonna do two types of races race a is either race and i'll help kobayashi kill himself or race b i'm gonna help him to realize that he shouldn't kill himself and use his power for good because his power is a potential that he's not using and that he's wasting which is really just interesting to see and that's what i was thinking as well it's like you have this amazing gift but you're not using it in any way so it doesn't make any sense why would why would you bother not using it at all so that's all i have to say again that's my kind of theory on uh, how um, Kobayashi works his little bubble. It's if he gets off guard, uh, then he probably will get a cut. Or if he starts feeling compassionate or actually like human emotions and stuff instead of this angsty teenager that he's trying to act like, uh, then he will also bring his guard down and get cut. Or like if something like... If he brings his guard down and I am to plunge a knife into him and he doesn't even notice this, then he would probably get a fatal wound or something like that. Because there's no way you don't get cuts coincidentally when you have this bubble that can destroy, like, steel and shit, okay? Anyways, (laughs) so that's my prediction. Uh, Let me know in the comment section down below your prediction uh, of how his little bubble sphere power works, uh, as well as your thoughts and opinions about this episode. If you like what you see, like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these to come in the future. All right, congratulations for making it this far into the video. Click here to see previous video. Uh, Click here to see a surprise video that you might not have seen on my channel or my second channel even. Uh, Link in description below to my anime list where you can go see what I'm watching, uh, the scores that I give on animes, if I watch your favorite anime or not. If I haven't, tell me that. Tell me if I should watch a certain show that you want me to talk about and stuff like that. Also down below is my Snapchat. That is the only form of social media besides YouTube and kind of Mal that I'm on constantly and that I can talk to you guys, the fans, if we, if you want to do that or whatever. Oh, don't add me. But I, I gotta say, I have some pretty fun snap stories along the way uh, especially now that winter's coming around and it's get- you you would think it's just fall but no it's pure it's uh, it's snowing outside okay it's insane here in canada so anyways uh i've been your host fraser 2098 and i hope to see you guys in the next episode bye